stunning. All right, guys. What we're talking about today is we got the uh, RGB um, daytime running lights um, illuminated sequential turn signal all in one, guys. And these things change color once you download the app. Right now, they're blue. I just installed them, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Very simple. Of course, you're going to have to remove the bumper to do that. First thing you're going to do, you're going to come on, open your hood up. You're going to take this cover here off, and now you're going to have all these little push pins in there. You're going to take them out, and that's going to give you access to the inside of your hood here. You're going to come down here in one, two, take those two push pins out. And of course, you're going to go along the bottom here. And right here, this is connected here. And this little slot right here, I don't know if you can see that, where my finger is. Where I got my finger right there. That's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt. You're going to take that out which is going to give you access to uh, this panel right here. And you're going to do that on the other side. And underneath the bottom here, it's going to be right there, if I got the camera. And then where my finger is, that's going to be another 10 millimeter bolt you're going to take out. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Right, remember I told you about that one right there. The other 10 millimeter bolt right there. And underneath, right there, you see right there, right there. You're gonna have to take that bolt out there. It's just gonna be like a little plastic grommet. Over there, you can't see it, but there's another plastic grommet. All right, and up top here, I got my lights in the way, but dropped on there this right here is going to be up here all right just imagine that right there and all these bolts are if I recall 10 millimeter so this of course is going to be behind here like like this right here as you see they all line up right and they're all going to be sitting up here. Right? And make sure when you take these off, these are, are different. So make sure you have the, this one on the right side. Because if you put this one over here, it's not going to line up. So you make sure you keep, keep them separated. Right? But anyway, they're going to be three bolts. One there, one there, and one there. One there, one there, and one there. And that is this one here, which I believe was right there. Yeah, like that. Right there. And of course, these other 10 millimeters. There's going to be three here. Right? And then right here, this is where this connects right here. That's going to be sitting up there. You're going to uh, take that. Ten, all these are 10 millimeter bolts, right? And here's all of my screws right here where I had to take them out. Okay. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah. Um, and if I recall, um, 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 that'll be enough to get it to be get pulled out, right? And this thing is basically got a plug and play. Here is your original daytime headlight, right? You see right there and right there uh, where the bolt mount up at. Right, and they're gonna be these little screws right here. It's just two of them hold this in inside of here, 
right? You want to take that out. And of course, you're going to have this part here connected. This is from the original daytime running light. It's going to be connected here. If you see it's a three it's a three prong connection, right? So now what as you see I got these running and this is no longer connected because you're not gonna need this anymore. It, it gets bypassed, right? And what you're gonna do is you see this right here? This is this whole thing right here is your new wiring harness. Here. Like I say, guys, it's a plug and play. And if you can see, this connects in their snap. And the other part here goes into here, right? Because this is replacing your, this is your turn signal wiring harness here. And remember, this, this will be your daytime running light harness. But it's going to get bypassed. And you see how it's connected from here to here so this plugged this plugged into here and this got plugged into here and that got ran into there right and now you're wondering okay so how does it plug into the daytime um, harness right okay we're gonna come over here and you're gonna see the difference this connected into your wiring harness. So this whole wiring harness connected both daytime uh, wiring harnesses into one. And of course, uh, I'm gonna try to do this without damaging anything. And show you guys what I mean. Again, there's your wiring harness that came with it. This is the control module here. And again, this right here connected into your turn signal wiring. And it all bridged it back together. So this is your, this is OEM harness connected into here to your turn light signal harness. And it ran back to the control module, which ran it back to your daytime running light connection. So that's how you connect all that. And again, I'm going to slide this right back into the slot here. Press it in. Uh, the two mounting points right there. And right there, I'm going to screw that back in. Set that back in there. Put this bumper back on. And it's all going to be set. All I have to do now is download the app. And I can turn these lights all different type of colors, guys. When I'm going to finish the end of the video is going to show you how it looks at night. Or maybe I'll put it on the beginning of the video. And just to give you guys an update, I painted my engine cover. And I put on a Megan Racing Strut Bar, right? And I'm going to do a video on how that uh, um, improved the performance and the handling and eliminated the body roll on the vehicle. Right, guys, and I'm also going to do I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and put a cold air intake on this thing an HSP cold air intake, right? But it's about 300 bucks that I really don't want to spend, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's a plug and play, right, guys? And I should do a video on how to do a throttle bottle cleaning, which is very simple, guys. And I'll and it doesn't take nothing but you just sticking the tube inside of here taking this bolt off sticking the tube inside of there starting the vehicle and running at 4,000 rpms and that smoke come out of there and that kit it uh, destroys all that carbon buildup in the intake because this is a direct injected vehicle so gas forms on the pistons and just it it causes your vehicle just kind of stall when you accelerate and here we are, guys. Stay tuned for more. Stunner.